it's honestly a dream and you spend so much time imagining these characters and then you see actors step into those shoes and bring it to life in a way that you never could have imagined. I mean, no matter how many years I thought about these characters, I never ever could have expected the things that these actors brought to those characters. And I'm so informed by the actors I'm working opposite. I mean, it, it affects every single thing that I do and say as a character. So uh, they lift my game and to have that sort of collaboration on set, it was incredible. I mean, there really, really wasn't one weak link in this cast. Everyone was in it, everyone was committed. Um, and everyone brought something pretty unique to the character, but everyone had that innate respect for the source material. She's like fully committed, fully there, um, constantly trying different stuff and wanting it to be better and, and then taking that actor hat off and being a producer and doing it with such grace and mm. such kindness. She, she really set this amazing tone for us and we kind of instantly became like a family we were re it was a really lovely set i mean i feel like it's it's something i try and explain to my friends who don't work on film sets is it's really like the only thing i can compare it to is like going on a summer camp and <laughs> you get really really close with not just your cast members but the crew members you you spend all this time together and you get really really close and then it comes to an end and you're devastated and you don't want it to end and every time I'm like don't get attached and every time I get attached and I'm, I'm upset when it's over but it's 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 a it, you put everything into it everyone kind of puts themselves in this vulnerable position and you do it together and I think there's something galvanizing about that experience so it's wonderful, always so wonderful when you get to do it with like-minded people. And I think the mere fact that everyone signed on for this film, we were always going to be like-minded. Everyone kind of had a same sort of a similar value system, I suppose, about what they think is important and what they want to add to this industry and what they want to get out of it creatively for themselves. So I think the bonding experience was pretty organic and easy. Um, and then beyond that, just the mere circumstances of a film set mm. brings you together in a pretty unique way. Look, the fun thing about Harley is she's going to start a movie in this place and then she's going to go like this and then she's going to end in the exact same place ultimately. So, um, but, but she has learned something along the way and she kind of develops a friendship and a relationship with someone she never expected she would come to rely on. And that's a really cool thing to see. But we definitely see a more raw, vulnerable, shaky Harley. But of course, since it's Harley Quinn, that manifests its way in more cra craziness, more erratic behavior. Um, yeah, it's, she's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> she is a pickpocket. She um, has to fend for herself. She doesn't really have any money or any parents necessarily, so she kind of has to um, find her way in Gotham, and she does get in a bit of trouble in that. And I'm, I'm not going to say for the better, but it definitely ended up in a better place because she's ultimately the glue for the Birds of Prey because um, she's the one that brought them all together and kind of forced them to be a team and work together to save her because she did do some trouble. Um, and I think ultimately she did also find a family and find that guidance through, through being a little um, mischievous. It's fun to play the villain because there's no wrong or right. There's no... Uh... Yeah, he's he will devour anything, and and that's and Kathy, the director, gave me so much room to kind of play around, and there's a lot of different versions of Victor that we tried. And the comic books were super helpful, and um, you know, Victor's as is low on the canon of villains, so I was I felt a responsibility to kind of give him give him a voice. A lot of the response was like it felt fresh, it felt like something I hadn't seen before and I just felt like, yeah, pretty exhilarated. I think it's, I think it's a wild ride from start to finish.